screaming because I got them or screaming because I didn't get them? Nyan, Jungyun, and Momo. Just shop at Council for the moment because my <laughs> Hi friends, it is 5.30 on Sunday, March 19th. It is Cashy Round 2! I swear I bought these tickets so long ago and when I bought them I was like, oh, like it's gonna be a while till this concert and now the concert's here. It's literally at 8 p.m. is when it starts. Cashy doesn't actually come on until 9.30 because there's two openers, but I wanna go early so I can hopefully get good March because I wasn't able to get March last year. So I just made a quick Starbucks stop Obviously, I had to get my matcha. But fun fact about my matcha is the first time I had this drink was actually last year when I was going to the Keshi concert. My first impressions are in my Keshi concert vlog. It's crazy that I've been obsessed with this drink for almost a year. Like, it's my entire personality now. The Keshi concert last year was at the end of May. It's mid-March this year, so it's a little bit colder. So that's why I'm wearing my winter coat. Just covering up my cute outfit. I'm so excited. And my tickets were way cheaper this time. It was only $70 instead of 200 I've seen to have made the dangerous precedent that I will take it off for any crowd that gets loud enough. I don't think this is gonna come as a surprise to anyone, but the concert was amazing. Keshi is a performer. The vocals are insane. Like he is a singer, a vocalist, and he just also happens to know how to put on a very good show. So obviously I went to his concert last year, which was in a tiny little concert venue. And by the time I got inside, there were absolutely no good merch items left. And also they only took cash and the ATM and the place was broken. So that was a lost cause. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. But when he announced this tour, I'm like, okay, I need to go and I need to get merch. And I was hoping and praying that they fixed the merch problem. And they did to a certain extent, but this was a sold out stadium. There were almost 8,000 people at this show and they still did not fix the merch problem. So my goal for merch was to get a hoodie, either the hoodie version of this shirt, or there was another like gray hoodie that said XOXO SOS, which I thought was actually really cute. The hoodie version of this sold out way before I got to the front of the line. And I wanted to have like 10 people before me, maybe even less. That's when the gray hoodie sold out. So there were no hoodies by the time I got to the front of the line and I was so exhausted. And I was talking to the people behind me because we were all wanted hoodies and we were just like crushed by the end of it. It's just like, come on. Like you knew this was a sold out show. You know at this point how much Toronto fans love you and you couldn't even get the merch right. Like 8,000 people. And there was such a long line after I checked out and there were only shirts left. I can only imagine what the people at the back of that line must have received when they got there. I think the one thing about the concert last year and the concert this year that were a little bit of a bummer was that I went alone. I have no problem doing things alone. Like, I am willing to do things alone if no one else wants to do them with me, which is why I went to the concert alone last year and why I went again alone this year because none of my friends listened to Keshi, so I didn't want that to ruin my experience and make me not buy a ticket. And I still had a really good time. Like, I am very good at vibing alone. Like, once he started playing, 
because of, I know his music so well and especially because I went to the concert last year and I knew what the set list was going to be like or I assumed that the set list was going to be similar and it was basically the same. I had a really good time. Next concert that I go to, which is going to be twice, manifesting, I'm going with friends. I am just going to finish my skincare, eat my burger from A&W, and then go to bed because I am exhausted. Look at my date. If you never, if you never like, like, no, you're just ignoring me. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, it is Wednesday now. It is T minus 20 minutes until the twice verified fan sale. I am literally shitting myself, not only for myself, but I'm the only one out of my friend group who got a code. Everyone else got waitlisted. And so I have to buy not only for myself, but for three other people hopefully. When I bought my cashew tickets in October for myself, I wasn't as prepared. I didn't really know about the Coliseum and I was running around trying to find like a good but cheap seat so I was clicking seats and they were already sold out and that was Keshi but it was also a much smaller arena so I'm hoping because we did a lot more planning this time around I can just go in check out boom we're good in other news while we wait do y'all like my lashes I bought individual lash clusters on Amazon instead of like a full strip lash honestly really liking how they look I think it looks super natural almost like lash extensions kind of live I thought they were gonna be a little bit more dramatic, but I like it. Okay, now back to me shaming myself for 19 more minutes. Oh my god, one minute. Mm. I'm either gonna be screaming because I got them or screaming because I didn't get them. So prepare yourselves. <laughs> I'm trying to find four seats in a row and that's so hard. Uh, <laughs> this is so difficult. Guess who's going to see twice? <laughs> I. That was the most stressful experience of my life. By the time I got in to buy the tickets, the sections that we were looking at were like either sold out or there weren't four tickets in that section. And the tickets that were there were like 250 plus. So I was scrambling to find four tickets in a row. I could not. So eventually I clicked four random tickets in section 105, which is still pretty good. And I saw that the total was in my budget. I had enough money in my bank account and I clicked place order. Without even really thinking, I was so stressed, but I got four tickets. I got one at the front of section 105 and then my friends are all at the back of section 105. My ticket was the most expensive, it was 200. Everyone else's was 170. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna cry. p.m. I believe. My presentation actually went really well. I thought the whole class was going to be there or a lot of people because our last quiz in the class is based on everyone's presentations but it was maybe like 20 people so I felt so much more at ease presenting and it went by so fast so smoothly and I'm sure we're gonna get a great mark. But anyways I just finished dinner. I had pasta and now I am watching Boys Planet. I'm trying to catch up. I'm currently on episode two. One I did not realize that these episodes were two hours long. I'm not complaining. And two, literally every single person on the show is likable. I am gonna be so upset when we get to the first elimination round, elimination thingy. I already know the most current results because they updated them earlier today. I think like the new episode came out earlier today, but I am loving this so far. I never watched Girls Planet, but Boys Planet, literally love everyone. Right now I'm rooting for Matthew, like my Canadian pride and joy, my little Canadian baby, even though he's a year younger than me. Ricky, because before I even started watching the show, I knew who Ricky was. Tall and rich, hot and handsome, Chris, my boss, baby Ricky. And Soon Hun Bin, obviously, who is dominating the popularity polls, as he should. Mm-hmm.
god i look kind of crazy okay so i just finished filming a very exciting video for me it's nothing super crazy it was just a clothing haul but my friend you know wanted me to recreate a makeup look and i tried my best but i look crazy and i was trying to take selfies for a thumbnail and for my friend and maybe for someone i am talking to but it just was not photographing well so i ended up taking a video i'm gonna try again i'm gonna try to take more selfies but i look so crazy like <laughs> it all looked so good until i got to the under eye things have not been working out exactly how i wanted them to today and that really bothers me because when things don't work out the exactly how i want them to i get frustrated so i'm gonna take this off and shower and um well, i'm gonna try to take more selfies but i'm gonna take it off and shower and do some skincare and reflect it's time for our a k-pop unboxing of the new twice album you know what's really criminal is how expensive k-pop albums are here in canada i got this from sunrise records or my brother got it from sunrise records for me and it was 50 two dollars i would only ever do this for twice but i went in there one time to look for the new txt album and it was 49.99 i walked right back out i said nope let's start with the poster i don't know what version this is the the three in the middle right here nyan jungyun and momo literally took my breath away like i had to like recalibrate my brain because what the fuck? <gasps> Mina! Oh my god. I always get Mina. The first game of album I ever bought was Between 1 and 2, which was their last mini album. And Mina is on the wall over there. There she is, just right in the corner. Underneath the main poster and rip said eyes. It's a little message. Daehyun left us a little message. I don't know what it says, but... Love you, Diane. That's mother right there. When I see her in person, I'm literally going to collapse. I'm gonna go into cardiac arrest and collapse. I don't know why, but there's something about this comeback. Jihyo just looks incredible. Like, I can't explain it. There's just something about... Case closed. Shut it down. I can go to bed happy. With my three Dahyun cards. Actually four. In my Mina poster. And my main poster. Hello, hello. I got my hair done this morning. Like, I got my roots touched up. It kind of looks a little crazy at the moment because my roots are so incredibly red and underneath as well. And it makes the blonde in my hair pop more. Like, as you can see, it did not pop this much when I first got this done, like, almost two months ago. But I also dyed my eyebrows slightly so that they match the roots so that this looks like my natural hair color. And I can kind of see a difference, but the longer I look at myself, the longer I'm like, wait, it doesn't really look like there's much of a difference. Like, my hairdresser didn't want to go too crazy right now. The next time I go back, she's like, if you want to go brighter, want to go more artificial looking, then we can. But I actually like, really like it. With that all said, thank you for coming along with me during this week in my life. I feel like this is a pretty eventful week. I had the concert, school, twice tickets, that whole fiasco, unboxing the new Twice album. It was a pretty good week. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. All my social medias are also in the description, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It would mean a lot to me if you followed me on those platforms as well. And with that being said, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.